before the game were the turnovers, the live ball turnovers, and uh, the rebounding edge. First time all year um, we've lost that battle on the glass on the offensive end and the total rebounding edge. So um, then you're up three going into the fourth quarter, and then at the media timeout, you got to close those games at home, and we didn't. Questions? You know, we're concerned about KK. Yeah. Well, when we let her get going, Joey, in the second quarter. You know, she was a really, really good basketball player, and she made shots, and she carried her team. Um, she had 19 at half. But at the same time, I thought Pinzon, Pinzon had 17 at that. Um, we let some other guys knock some shots down. You know, the Martin kid came off the bench, and, and we gave up, you know, we gave up uh, – those two threes that she hit and uh, when we fouled her and she went to the free throw line. But, you know, down the stretch, you can't give up a weak side dug in, uh, duck it. And that, was, that was big. And then uh, a foul on a drive on a late clock. Um, and that's what I talked to our guys about. We played one senior today. All the other guys are freshmen and sophomores. But you got a val- I don't think we have a value of how important every possession is. And uh, when... You know, you you only understand that when you lose games like this. Did you happen to get any explanation on the breakaway call that was called just a, as a regular foul? Nah, I'm not going to talk about that. Next question. Coach, when we go a little more in depth on Pinzon, she seemed to really be finding her shot today. Yeah, you know what? I thought she was aggressive. She made shots, but I think I mean she played 40 minutes and she got us. She got she made the right calls offensively and got us into what we needed to get into and. Um, that's just a turnover ratio. A point guard with the ball in her hands 90% of the time on offense, she only has one turnover, and the other 16 or 17 came from other places. That's a big problem. A couple of turnovers down the stretch. Yeah. Unforced errors. Yeah. I think, you know, we're just careless with the basketball. We didn't sit and catch and get the ball into the rock at places, but you know what? You got to have short-term memory. You got to start getting ready for Wichita State tomorrow. Coach Robinson was still trying to find her shot. It looks like, but defensively, it seems like she really stays in the game that way. You just talk about yeah. The you know, I thought you know her length would bother uh, KK a little bit at times. It did, but you know, bro, it, what happened was when we had some breakdown in coverages that hurt us. Elena not feeling well today. She just Elena. She just not feeling well today. Or- I thought she was feeling well. I thought she felt well today. I'm feeling conf- confident right now. They're they're trying to trust me, and they are trusting me. Coach is trusting me, so I felt like uh, at the beginning when I came back from the injury, I was like, mm, I don't know if I can do that. So I'm a little bit scared, you know. After like one week, one week and a half, I was like, I can do that. It's like it's my sport. I've been playing basketball from. 13 years, so I'm like, I can do that. And I start to play on my way. They start to pass me the ball, I start to knock down shots, so they made me They made me feel confident. For, for either one of you, you guys desperately needed this game. How great are the pillows to swallow? Um, I think, I mean, there's nothing we can do about this game. We gotta just work and practice towards the next people we play. It's like it's conference game, so we play every like two, three days. We cannot think about like it's a big loss, but we we have we have to get back. We have to think about which we gotta stay that we play next game and try to get that win because it's important. So you took a pretty rough shot there and was able to knock down the free throws. Just talk about what was going through your head during that, being able to come back and just not miss a beat. I just knew we needed those free throws, so I was just <laughs> like, I'm fine, you know, I'll be good. <laughs> Yeah, and it's just like any other free throw. We shoot them a ton, so it's just another shot. Coach, Dina struggled to shoot today, but she was playing really well in all other aspects of the game. How do you kind of talk somebody through that when they're struggling in a major way, shooting-wise, but the rest of the way they're still playing pretty good? Who? Christina. Robbie. Oh. I think that, like, if you're not shooting offensively, you can always do other things. You can yeah. defend. You can hit somebody that is shooting, like, E. E was – Shooting lights out, so you got to find E. There's other things you can do in the game if you're not hitting your shots. When UCF adjust, adjusted, you know, to just keep you guys from knocking down threes, what was you know tough about the zone to you know keep you guys from staying hot behind from deep? Um, 
I think we got to we broke down in some aspects. We got to meet the ball more because they're definitely rushing to the ball. And I think we just got to find the open people faster. I think we held the ball sometimes, but like in the first quarter when we were moving it, everybody was getting shots and it was good. And we just stopped doing that. So yeah. it's a pretty unique look. Do you get that kind of anywhere else with any other team in the conference? Mm. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Cincinnati did like a one, two, two. But yeah, nobody. but they always like press 40 minutes and get yeah. back in 3-2 zone. So I think it's the only team that does that in our conference. But yeah. You both have had games with Tulsa and you today where you kind of were on fire there from three-point range. What is that like for both of you guys when it seems like everything you put up is going in? Speaking about me, like we are putting, in general, we are putting a lot of work before practice, after practice, shooting with our assistant coach, try to knock down shot. And when you feel like ready with the head, when you go in this game and you're like, I want to shoot the ball, I want to make shot, that's, that's come easy at the end. Because also you know that you put a lot of work behind the game and you can, you can knock down shot. Uh, I think it's just a great feeling, especially when your teammates are like finding you when you, they know you're hot and they're just encouraging you, hyping you up, it's a great feeling. This is a team UCF that went blow for blow with Utah a couple of days ago. Then you were right here with them. Do you look at it like this is going to be a tough conference, or do you take more optimism out of like we're right here with everybody in this conference? We are trying to get one game at a time. And as I say, like we lost today it was not a good loss, but we have to think about another game, the one that's come next. We cannot focus on what back back or what some someone else did, you know, just about us.